What's up, my name is Kevin and you're watching Monkey Abroad. So I asked some of you to let me know whether or not it's worth it to break down this character Byung, including this little mnemonic jingle, and enough of you said you'd like to learn it. So not only am I gonna break that character down and all of its components, but I'm also gonna share with you a little bit of the legend and lore behind this character. Technically, the most complex Chinese character is Nam. It's a 36 stroke character, which means the stuffed up sound your nose makes when you have a cold. And while it's impressive with its 36 strokes, I don't think it compares to the beauty and outrageousness of this whimsical character, Byung. There's so much behind the legend and lore of Byung. It's like the unicorn of Chinese characters. It's just so cool. And if you learn how to write it, you can really impress your friends. So without further ado, let's break down this amazing character. So there's the Mian and the Ba, the roof and eight. And when you combine those two, it makes the xue, which is like a hole or a cave. Then in the middle, there's yan, which is speech. And to the left and right of yan, there's yao, which is, it just means small. Then in the bottom, in the middle, there's ma, which is horse. And to the left and right of the ma is jiang, which is like to grow. To the left, there is a moon. And the bottom, there's a heart. And to the right, there's a knife. And then last, there's a chuo, which means to walk. It's the final radical that you add. And now, the character Byung is complete. This is a mnemonic device to help you remember how to write this character. And it goes... 一点飞上天, 黄河两道弯, 八字大江口, 眼字往里走, 东一扭, 西一扭, 左一长, 右一长, 中间加个马大王, 心字底, 右字旁, 六个勾搭挂马堂, 坐个车车广咸阳, I didn't come close to saying that perfectly, but I think you get the idea. One thing that's cool about this jingle is that there's lots of imagery in it that induces a feeling like you're in Xi'an or you're in Shanxi. Which is something that you can see if you go to Xi'an, it's really cool. Some really interesting imagery for where this noodle, where this character Biang comes from. And now one more thing about this character that makes it really interesting is the legend behind it. I've asked lots of people from Shanxi, I've read about this legend, and it always seems to be a different story from whoever tells it. So here's one interesting story that I'd like to share with you that I like to believe is the true origin of where this character came from. So there was a student walking in Shanxi and he was hungry and he heard this biang biang sound from a noodle shop. And so he walked in and he saw what looked amazing, the soup with all these different ingredients in it. So he ordered a bowl and he ate it and it was so delicious and then he realized he didn't have any money to pay the chef. So he asked the chef, oh, what is this dish called? The chef said, Byung Byung Mian. And so the kid said, do you know how to write Byung, the character? And the chef said, uh, no, actually I don't. And so the kid said, oh, I'll teach you how to write it and then my meal is free. And before the chef had any time to respond, the kid took out a piece of paper and a brush and started writing all of the characters that he could think of to comprise the most complex character. And thus, Byung was created. And when the chef saw it, he was just grinning from ear to ear so happy, so he just tore up the check. Even if it's not included in any modern dictionary, it's still the most interesting Chinese character because there's an amazing story behind it, and it's just so beautiful and fascinating and fun to write. So now, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.